There aren't three states of matter, there's dozens. And there could be many more that we haven't discovered. Confused? Befuddled? Flabbergasted, even? Not for long. So we all learned about the three states of matter in grade school, and if you went to a good school, maybe you also learned about a fourth, plasma. And that's great and all, but they never really told us what a state of matter is. Not really. And if we don't know what it is, how do we know what counts as one? Fortunately, I can tell you, so stick around. Most broadly, a state of matter, also sometimes called a phase, is a distinct way that matter can be. And so, obviously, solids are distinct from liquids, which are distinct from gases, and so on. But in order for this to be a useful definition, we have to be a bit more specific. Otherwise, I could just as easily say red things are a distinct state of matter from blue things because they're different from one another. No, we need something else. The modern definition of a state of matter is a way matter behaves on either side of a phase transition. It sounds circular, but if we can define what a phase transition is, then any time there's a phase transition, we will know that there are two different phases associated with it, one on each side of the transition. Now, a phase transition is a pretty specific thing. It's an abrupt change in certain physical properties, often thermodynamic quantities. The most familiar example might be the transition from liquid to solid, freezing, as the density changes abruptly as the sample passes through zero degrees Celsius for water, say. In any case, we call the changing physical property of the system the order parameter. But if this is how we define states of matter, the distinct ways matter can be on opposite sides of a phase transition, then there's plenty of them. One example is the superconducting phase, where the electrical resistivity drops suddenly to zero when a material drops below a certain temperature. Another is the ferromagnetic phase, where the internal magnetic fields of a metal suddenly align, forming a permanent magnet when it drops below a certain temperature. There's Bose-Einstein condensates, there's topological quantum states like the quantum Hall states, exotic quantum states like time crystals, high-energy non-atomic states like neutron degenerate matter, and so much more. And miraculously, there's some degree of uniformity in all of this. Condensed matter physicists refer to first-order and continuous phase transitions, with first-order transitions being those that are discontinuous in the first derivative of the order parameter, and with continuous phase transitions being those that lose analytic behavior of the order parameter in some other continuous way. And while first-order phase transitions are pretty unique, continuous phase transitions fall into so-called universality classes, where many different kinds of systems undergo effectively the same phase transition. But that's a story for another time.